I'm going to tie a, another temple dog. This time uh, I'm going to tie a fly called the black sheep or some sort of a variation anyway on the black sheep theme. So what I've got here is a length of uh, black outer tubing. This one is about an inch and a quarter or so. And you see at the end here I've cut this down at about 45 degrees. I'll take my inner tubing now and flame a little burr onto the end of it. Blow it to cool it down. And then just before it welds itself to your tongue, <laughs> lick it to cool it down. Pass that up from the back end. You see the flange is going to stop at the blunt end. But you can pull that in and see now where it's bulging it, and that'll stop whenever you're dressing on. There's no way that's going to pull any further forward. So I'll trim that off. I put that onto our vise. Now I like to put a little bit of super glue there at the join of the two. People say you don't need to, but personal preference. And I slide my tine thread in between the two tubes there and then over wrap that junction. So the tip and tag on this fly I'm going to use a silver oval tinsel. So wrap that in and put on about three turns of that. Take off a couple of wraps till it's just right tight where we're tying that in. Fold it forward and cut it off. Now for the uh, tag, I'm going to use Glowbright number no. three floss. Tie that in. Just right in front of our silver. We're going to wrap on maybe three or four mil or so of a of a tag section there, and trim that. I want a red fibred tail, so I have a little bunch of fiber here, about an inch and a half or so long. I'm going to tie it in one third along its way and fold it back on itself so that the longer portion goes over the top of it. And then as we brush that out we should get a bit of taper to our tail. So now we want to put on a little butt section. So uh, for that a little bit of black fur. You can use black merino or something like that. You can mix in a little bit of peacock ice dub or something like that with it as well if you want just to get it uh, a nice neat little buff section. Now, uh, the body on this fly is going to be a black floss and it's going to be ribbed with silver rib. Now you can use the oval if you wanted to put a hackle down it, but I'm not going to put a hackle. I'm going to do a straight floss body and just for that bit more bling to it, I'm going to rib it with this, which is a holographic silver tinsel. I'm going to take a couple of foot or so of this black rayon, find the middle of the strand tie it in by its middle and then we'll use our tying thread and wrap up to make a sort of smoothish underbody. So then I'm now wrapping but I've got the two strands slightly well, side by side so they're not twisted at all. And the rear strand is overlapping the forward strand of the previous wrap, roughly, as we go. So we should get a nice even coverage. <coughs> Tie that in at the front. And then we take our silver braid and wrap that forward. 
25 turns roughly to the to the front wrap across itself I like to fold it back and tie it off for that wee bit of added security so I'm going to put on an underwing of black on this swing Taking a lump of black fur. I'll measure that up to be just to be on our tail. And then I'll trim that off in front of it and pull a few fibers just so that it's not a straight cut end. I'm going to tie that in reverse and I'm going to leave this little butt section here as it'll act as like a, a ramp to throw up the, the wing. Okay. I'm going to put some super glue on our thread. I have two turns on holding that, so I'm putting that on. And then I'll just fold it back. into itself and again slight little dab but you don't want it to be wicking up into the wing. And then I'm gonna take our peacock mirage and put on a couple of strands there and fold back. And the second two strands cut off slightly longer than the two that went before. And I put on a blue hackle, so it is a blue soft hackle. Strip it, double it, tie it in by tip and fold it back. I'm going to try and get one turn across that top of that tie-in point and then the other turn is down the sort of ramp of it. Fox now. Hold it by the tips and pull out a lot of that under fur. And I want this to be just slightly longer than the black one that went before it. So little run of glue on our thread there. And once we get any glue into it at all, I'm going to force it back and I'm just going to spread it out slightly round. The shank there. And again, if you want to put in some more flash at this point, we can. So we'll take our uh, Mirage again, take a strand out to the length of the wing and fold it back on itself. And then I'm going to take another soft tackle in the blue. Hopefully this time slightly longer than the one that went before it. Double that over. And I'm just 
just as I'm wrapping it I'm making sure it all lays back in position you don't want that just snip off the ones that are on top and blow them out of it now I'm going to get my yellow tail again and I'm just going to look for a longer bit of yellow to finish the top and give us a nice long taper And the eyes on the fly I'll go with now. Uh, so I'm going to look for a couple of jungle cock feathers here. Strip them both off to the same amount and set them on. I'm going to fold back their stalks to stop them from sliding out. Trim those off. It'll run super glue onto the thread and a couple of wraps over that and that'll just hold those in position. And now it's time to finish the play off with this head wing. So I'm going to tie it in by its very tip here. And then let it slide out around that a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. So now we take super glue again. I'm going to run that into the gap behind and fold the wing back onto it. Get a turn across it to finish it. And a couple of half hitches. So finish on this I'm going to put a red cone on it. So in here I'm going to use one of these. It's a signature cone head, a, a dark red, small one here, although you could use a larger one given the size of this fly. And they've got a really, a really solid red finish to them. So I'm just going to add a bit of super glue there to our head. Slide on the cone and push it well back into that. And we take our brush and just brush out the wing. And that should give us a nice taper and it should give us like that sort of cone or sorry teardrop shape to it if we put it this way. You see a nice taper. So we take that off. Trim off the inner tubing and flame it down to finish it off. And that is our D, our black sheep, sorry, variant. 